let's go. Pag bago pa lang kayo sa channel, huwag nyong kalimutan na i-click yung subscribe button and palike na din ng video and mag-notify kayo para pag may bago tayong NFT game, may bago tayong review, manonotify kayo ka agad. Hi guys, so in this video, pag-uusapan natin itong Forgotten Chain. Ang Forgotten Chain guys, sa mga hindi pa familiar dito ay isang MMORPG na NFT game. And yung graphics naman nito guys, parang Elden Ring, uh, The Fabled na NFT game, parang ganun guys yung graphics niya. So i-check naman natin yung website niya ngayon, makikita natin dito yung mga importanting information para makapag dior tayo. Katulad na lang nitong light paper, meron silang white paper dito, marketplace, and yung audit nila. At kung gusto nyong maging updated dito guys, meron silang lunch calendar, click nyo lang yan and makikita nyo na lahat ng mga event na mangyayari dito ngayon. Since uh, malapit na din yung ICO nila or initial coin offering. I-check nyo na din to guys and makikita natin dito na yung token description nila is FTC. Siyempre forgotten chain token yan. And itong forgotten metaverse nila, FTC token will be utilized as the currency in forgotten metaverse. Also most of the NFTs will be interchangeable between games in the forgotten ecosystem. So ito yung tokenomics nya guys. Ang dev team ay meron silang 10%. Private ICO naman is 3%. Public ICO 7%. And yung liquidity nila is 3%. Yung light game naman nila, 5%. Main game is 70% ng token. So, sobrang laking chunk ng token yan guys para sa play to earn. Kaya naman naging interesado talaga ako dito sa Forgotten Chain. Dahil dito sa makukuha nating play to earn rewards nila guys na 70%. So malabong ma-deplete agad itong 70% and yung marketing nila is 2% lang guys. Regarding the vesting periods naman for the token, private ICO 5% at TGE and 5% unlock ito every month. Public ICO nila is 5% at TGE and 5% din unlock every month parang yung private sale din. Light game nila 100% unlock Liquidity is 100% din, marketing 100%, main game 10% at TGE and 10% unlock every year Dev team naman, 1% lang yan. Unlock every month for 10 months. Then, 5% unlock every month for 18 months. So, magkakonduct sila dito guys ng 2 sale rounds. First is yung private round nila. 3% of total supply yan. Access to whitelist 1 guys is $0.01 yung floor price nila per token. Public round naman nila is 7% of total supply. Access to whitelist 2 and whitelist 3. For only 0.03 dollars per token so yan yung nandito guys per private 0.01 and public 0.03 supply nila is 3% dito sa private round and 7% naman dito sa whitelist 2 
entry. Minimum buy natin is 0.2 BNB sa mga nagtitipid pero sa max buy naman natin para maiwasan dito yung mga whales, 3 BNB sa private round and 10 BNB naman dito sa whitelist 2 and whitelist 3. And the main question here is if you can join multiple whitelist, ang answer nila guys is yes for all the whitelist rounds. So yan yung tokenomics nila guys. And inuna ko yan guys kasi malapit na yung ICO nila. So sa April 28 guys, private ICO round na nila. And sa April 30 naman, public ICO launch na nila dyan. And yung mga event guys, andito lang sa calendar. Kung gusto nyong i-check, andito lahat yung mga events dito sa calendar na to. Ilalagay ko din ito dyan sa description box guys para ma-check nyo. Tapos magkakaroon nga pala tayo ng live stream ng gameplay nito sa 18th of April. So abangan nyo yan sa mga bago pa lang sa channel. Make sure na mag-subscribe kayo para makita nyo yung gameplay na live. Dito lang sa channel natin, Dalarin TV channel. And yung mga event pala na nandito guys, lahat ng ito makikita nyo sa Discord nila. So make sure na mag-join kayo dun sa Discord nila. Sobrang lakas ng community nila guys dun sa Discord nila. So nung April 1, nag-KYC and inventory launch na sila. Ember boost naman nung... April 2, April 3 nila, Pet Showcase Episode 1 and magkakaroon din tayo dito ng mounts so nag-mount showcase din sila ng Episode 1 noong April 4 so nagkaroon din sila ng invite contest, Ember Boost i-check natin lahat ng itong mga event nila guys mamaya dun sa Discord nila para makita nyo yung mga mounts, mga pets at kung makikita nyo dito guys magkakaroon din sila ng NFT sale launch wave 2 sa April 20th so i-check natin yung NFT sale nila Makikita natin dito guys sa NFT sale nila yung mga ibebenta nilang mga characters katulad nitong Knight, Assassin, Warlock, Mage and meron din silang 3 chest with utility items guys na for sale dito and magagamit ito dun sa 2D light game nila anyway mag earn din nga pala kayo dun sa 2D light game nila so make sure na i-check nyo tong mga NFTs na to kapag interested kayo dito sa forgotten chain so meron sila ditong mining chest, fishing chest and battle chest. Dito sa mining chest guys, makakakuha daw tayo ng isang pickaxe. This comes in 4 rarities, each better bonuses. These are common, uncommon, rare, and epic. Fishing chest naman contains 1 na hook, isang fishing rod, and 200 na baits. Sa battle chest naman, isang weapon which comes in 4 rarities, common, uncommon, rare, and epic, 6 times energy potions, and 10 health, tapos 10 mana potions din. And a random book. Ito naman yung pet system nila guys Sabi dito we've collected a few eggs from the creatures around the forgotten realm And you can grab one of these now You'll need to hatch it at the hatchery once and is built in one of the cities So ito yung mga eggs nila para dun sa pet system guys Meron tayong high dragon egg dito, vampire egg Dragon Scale and Nature Seed Egg. Para naman dun sa mga mounts guys, ito yung mga klase ng mounts na i-offer nila dito sa Forgotten Chain. So meron tayong 3-tailed na fox, flying gecko, red phoenix, green dragon, and white pegasus. Yan yung mga mounts nila guys. Papakita ko sa inyo yan mamaya lahat. Andun yung leak na images nila dun sa discord magkakaroon din sila dito guys ng land sale so meron tayong battle land dito tier 1 ito village naman is tier 2 na land and yung city is tier 3 at makikita nyo naman dito yung mga amounts kung magkano yung floor price nila sa mga lands nila guys so yung first land sale nila meron siyang 50% discount kaya naman ganito yung prices nila and yung pwede naman natin gawin dun sa land nila guys pwede tayong mag tayo ng pet shops parang mga business na pwede natin gawin dun sa land nila mastery trainers meron ditong skill trainers mount shops teleporters forgery and blacksmith so pwede tayong kumita guys kapag nagte-teleport yung ibang players dito sa teleporters na business natin kapag may land tayo dito sa game na to and dito naman yung mga available sa tier 2 and tier 3 lands so may alchemist tayo, may enchanter, incubators, library, breeding place, tables, casino, advertisement, banners, and many more. Yan yung mga pwede nating ita yung business dyan. And pwede din tayong kumita dyan sa tier 2 and tier 3. Siyempre mas malaki yung kikitain natin dito guys. Kapag ganitong klaseng land yung bibilin natin. So why should you consider buying land daw? You can be a part of a big metaverse. The lands have multiple income streams. The first sale has a 50% discount. So check below. Makikita natin dito guys. So ito yung mga pwede daw natin kitain guys. Transaction fees, mag-earn tayo dito. Mining, marketplace, businesses, token drops, token distribution from the landowner's pool and other activities. And 
Meron din silang transaction fees guys for NFTs. So ito naman yung mga percentage. For example, itong 1.5% to the owner of the land where the item was sold. So makukuha natin yung fee kapag na-sold yung item nila dyan sa land natin. And 1.5% din to the owner of the land where the item was dropped. 3% naman to the owner of the land owner's pool. And 4% to the reward pool. At para maintindihan natin yun guys, ito naman yung graph nya. So makikita natin dyan, item sold for 1,000, 10% transaction fee. So $100 agad yun na fee. Yung $900 pupunta sa seller. And yung $40 guys pupunta sa dun sa reward pool. And magiging token drop siya for monsters and dungeons. Pag naglalaro tayo dyan, $30 naman. This goes to landowner's pool and it will be distributed to all landowners. The owner of the land is getting the commission for each items sold on his land. $15 naman. Pupunta siya dun sa mga user na nakakapagbenta ng mga NFTs. So yan yung fees. And para sa akin guys, profitable naman itong mga lands na to. Pero kailangan lang natin ng malaking budget kung gusto nyong mag-acquire ng isang land dito sa Forgotten Chain. So ito nga pala yung mga pwede natin gawing business guys. Andito yung description nila. So ilalagay ko ito sa description box para i-check nyo ng maigi itong mga businesses na pwede natin ilagay sa mga land. So meron tayong mining, marketplace, businesses, token drops, and token distribution tapos other activities. Lahat ng mga information na to guys ilalagay ko dun sa description box kasama na itong mga useful links na to para makapag dior kayo ng mabuti dito sa game na to. So yun lang guys yung review natin dito sa Forgotten Chain. Na discuss na natin yung about sa mga classes, yung Knight, Assassin, Warlock, Mage, ICO, NFT sale, land sale, and itong maps na din. So meron tayo yung Drakari, Tarya tapos Seta na map dito. Yung gameplay naman niya nakita nyo na dun sa trailer. Tapos yung Discord nga pala nila guys makikita natin dito na meron na silang 13,269 na members so ibig sabihin dumadami na yung community nitong Forgotten Chain nung first na nagjoin ako dito sobrang konti pa lang nila guys so last year pa to din develop and kung gusto nyo makita yung mga ibang gameplays dito sa game na to punta lang kayo dun sa leaks makikita natin dito lahat ng mga gameplay leaks nila katulad na lang nito so yan ganyan kaganda yung graphics nya guys para siyang Elden Ring na gameplay. And ito naman guys yung sa mining nila kung paano tayo magmine. So ganyan yung gagawin natin dyan sa dito sa Forgotten Chain kung paano tayo magmining. Ito naman yung sinabi ko guys na kapag landowner kayo pinabayaran din nila kayo para dun sa teleporter. Ganito naman yung itsura ng warlock guys. So more on magic siya. And yung mounts naman guys ganito yung mga itsura nila. So mas maganda kapag i-check nyo sila dito guys. Make sure na mag-join kayo dito sa discord nila para ma-check nyo itong mga leaks nila. Ito naman guys yung itsura ng mga assassins sa in-game nila. And ganito naman guys yung warrior nila. So sobrang ganda ng graphics. Para siyang perfect world. Kung nalaro nyo na yung perfect world. So all in all guys, ang masasabi ko dito sa Forgotten Chain, uh, when it comes to graphics, gameplay, masasabi ko na mag enjoy tayo dito. And yung tokenomics nya guys, nakita naman natin, 70% ang rewards pool natin dun guys. Sobrang sulit nitong Forgotten Chain na to and, and I'm sure na lalaruin ko talaga itong Forgotten Chain na to. So yun lang guys, pag bago pa lang kayo sa channel, huwag niyo kalimutan na i-click yung subscribe button, click niyo na din yung notification bell. Set niyo yan sa all para every time na meron tayong bagong NFT game, bagong mga potential tokens and updates dito sa mga NFT game na nilalaro natin, manonotify kayo. Yun lang guys, maraming salamat. Bye-bye. Disclaimer. This content is for education and entertainment purposes only. Bilaran TV does not provide investment advice. The information is being presented without consideration of the investment objectives, risk tolerance, or financial circumstances of any specific investor and might not be suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. All investing involves risk, including the possible loss of principal. Some videos have benefactors. Always do your own research. Never invest more than you are willing to lose.